Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem that we got from American Invitational Mass Examination or AIM from 1986. This is actually a very interesting problem that can be seen in very different mathematic competitions. In this problem, we have a sigma of minus 1 to the power of k, x to the power of k, where k is equal to 0 to 17. We know that this sigma is going to be equal to another sigma which is based on x plus 1 to the power of k times a k for the same k is equal to 0 to 17. We want to find a2 in the second sigma. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve this problem, let's start with expanding both equations that we have. For the first one, we can write f of x as 1 minus x plus x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 up to x to the power of 16 minus x to the power of 17. On the other hand, for the second sigma, we can write it as a0 plus a1 times x plus 1 plus a2 times x plus 1 to the power of 2 and we need to continue this up to a17 times x plus 1 to the power of 17. And again, we want to find a2 in this equation. Remember, a0, a1, a2 up to a17 are going to be constant. Let's review f of x again. It has minus x and then plus x2 and then minus x to the power of 3 and then plus x to the power of 4. If we multiply f of x by 1 plus x, you can simply see that the whole answer is going to be just 1 minus x to the power of 18. To prove this, you can consider the yellow box that we have here. If you multiply f of x by 1 plus x, then we are going to have the whole expression that we have for f of x first. Here you can see that in blue. And then you are going to multiply x by f of x. And then we will have the expression that we have here in purple. You can see that many of these terms can be removed. We use the same color for the items that can be removed together. At the end, we will have just 1 minus x to the power of 18. So we know f of x times 1 plus x is equal to 1 minus x to the power of 18. As a result, f of x can be written as 1 minus x to the power of 18 over 1 plus x. Now let's use y for x plus 1. Then x is going to be y minus 1. And let's replace x with y minus 1. Then we are going to have 1 minus y minus 1 to the power of 18 for denominator and 1 plus y minus 1 for the denominator. We can remove 1 in the denominator and then we just have y for f of y minus 1. Now we have f of y minus 1 is equal to 1 minus y minus 1 to the power of 18 over y. We want to expand y minus 1 to the power of 18. To do this, we are going to use binomial theorem. I'm sure you remember it, but in case you want to review it, please make sure that you visit this Wikipedia page that we have here. If we want to expand 1 plus x to the power of n, then 
you are going to have x0, x1, x2 up to x to the power of n and then we will have n choose 0 for the first term n choose 1 for the second term n choose 2 for the third term and so on and so forth these are the coefficients of each term that we have here so to find what we have for a2 we need to find the coefficient that we have for y to the power of 3 since we already have y in the denominator of f of y minus 1 the coefficient that we have for y to the power of 3 is going to be 18 choose 3 so 18 choose 3 is going to be our answer thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities please subscribe to the channel